Will immortality be possible in our lifetime? Ever wanted to live forever? Time just may be on your side. Well, if you can make it another quarter of a century, that is. Humans are understandably obsessed with the idea of immortality, and why wouldn't we be? We would have the opportunity to explore new exciting worlds. We will be able to witness every significant moment in mankind's timeline. Whether it's the colonization of another galaxy, or developing a way to reverse climate change. By then, we'd be living a thousand years or more. We could look 20 for the rest of our lives. The worldwide life expectancy has increased significantly thanks to advances in medicine and healthcare, but it's not enough. Big players like Google are now investing millions into researching eternal life, and we're closer than ever to an answer. Are you interested in the strange and the unknown? Subscribe to Fact Monkey and ring the bell for more mind-blowing content. The fear of aging is not new in humans. Our mythologies talk about Ambrosia, the nectar of the Greek gods that offered immortality. They speak of Iden's apples from the Norse myths. China's first emperor ordered his subjects to seek the elixir of life because he wished to be immortal. In 16th century France, nobles drank gold to extend their lifespans. Hollywood movies have explored the possibility in works like Age of Adeline Happy birthday, Mama. and Pirates of the Caribbean. I once knew a Spaniard name. We've even explored the possibility of eternal life through meditation. Dashi Dorzo Tigalav, a B8 Buddhist Lama born in 1852, remains in a meditative state and seems to be untouched by any signs of decay. Our fears have pushed us to the extremes. And it's a well found fear because aging kills. It kills us by not just making us vulnerable, but also by making us resistant to change. We have known this since forever, and every effort has gone into prolonging life as much as we can possibly stretch it. Life expectancy around the world has been steadily improving over the last 200 years with changes in lifestyle, housing, education, and of course, healthcare. It only got better with the development of vaccines and then antibiotics. By the end of the 20th century, there was no room left for further reduction in early and mid-life mortality. But that simply isn't enough. Every day, the cells in our bodies undertake many metabolic reactions, and although they are essential to our survival, they also produce toxic metabolites that accumulate until eventually they lead to frailty and, ultimately, death. Our genetics and environment also impact how we age. Our genes are responsible for 25% of our longevity, affecting cell metabolism and favoring processes that slow aging down, habits like smoking and daily exercise also determine our lifespans. No wonder so many billionaires have pumped money into research that aims to keep people fit as they age. In addition to Google founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, the billionaire Peter Thel, are also backing the Unity Biotechnology, which is also working on ways to combat aging. Scientists and the author of the book, Ending Aging, Audrey de Grey, is currently working on a way to exclude death from our genes. He has something called a Seven Deadly Sens model, which points to seven things that cause aging on a cellular level. 1. Nuclear mutations that can lead to cancer. 2. Mitochondrial mutations that are important for energy production. 3. Intracellular junk, which means proteins that are not properly digested by our cells. 4. Extracellular junk, which are proteins accumulated outside the cells. This is common in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. 5. Cells that can't be regenerated by the body itself. 6. Cell sentience, which is when cells lose the ability to divide. And 7. Extracellular crosslinks, which causes the loss of elasticity in cells and tissues. The good news? His team already knows how to fix this damage. For each of these causes, there already exists a strategy for removal or repair. The bad news? It's either still in prototype form or expected to be possible given the trajectory of our scientific developments. While Audrey de Grey works on that, other scientists are looking outwards into the world that already has seemingly immortal beings. Nature is full of examples of long-living trees like the bristle pinecone and animals like the roundworm C. elegans which goes into a coma for four months and comes back to life. I mean, that sounds like the dream, honestly. Sure, they don't live forever, but they live a long, long time. The most interesting creatures are those that seem to outlive even their closest relatives. With its wrinkled, hairless skin, 
The naked mole rat is hardly the example you want for successful aging. But the fact is, it lives up to 30 years, much longer than the two or three years a well-fed mouse can enjoy. It is also resistant to cancer. No tumors have ever been found in the thousands studied in labs. Even when bathed in carcinogens, it's almost as if natural selection has somehow pushed certain creatures to evolve their own elixir of life. Going by that, scientists are trying to stop aging by making cells healthier and then letting natural selection choose and do its thing. Sierra Sciences is another organization racing to cheat death. Its focus lies on treatments that can lengthen telomeres. Telomeres are the caps at the end of each strand of DNA. They get shorter each time a cell copies itself. And because they copy themselves throughout our lives, telomeres get short, scary short. Human cells do not regenerate, and so we get old. But if we can find a way to revert them to the state they were at your birth, it could reduce your age to 25. BioViva, their competitor, is also on the same track. The CEO, Elizabeth Parrish, is so confident in her company's findings that she herself underwent telomere therapy in 2015. She claimed that the surgery reduced her age by 30 years and that her body was basically reverse aging, thanks to the measurement of her telomeres. Nobody has been that bold in their approach, and it's easy to understand why. There are some huge risks involved, which is why most scientists are using animals for their theories. George Church, for example, is using gene therapy to add anti-aging instructions to the DNA of animals. He is a Harvard professor and the founder of Rejuvenate Bio, a research lab aimed at tackling age-related diseases affecting animals. They have been able to make mice live twice as long, and they will soon start testing on dogs too. Hey, even if animals don't end up living forever, dogs definitely deserve to. And yet, another study explored the use of sirtuins rapamycin proteins and compounds found to prolong the life of mice and yeast. Some other strands of research have led to the discovery of rare genes or regions of genomes within cells, which comprise the entire sequence of genes in an organism that have allowed some humans to live longer lives and use them to find the ultimate key to human immortality. But everything has its pros and cons. It might sound fun to live forever and be present for every special moment our species will ever experience, but even that comes at a price. For instance, yes, you would have the opportunity to explore every corner of the universe, but that will get old. Soon, there will be absolutely nothing left for you to do or achieve. Plus, we won't value our time if there are endless amounts of it. We stand at the risk of stagnation as a species, and that would spell trouble for both us and our planet. But maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. If and when such technology becomes available, it's not likely that they'll cost a few bucks. High demand might eventually lower the price, but don't be surprised if the first people to get it are billionaires. So, plenty of non-billionaires are bound to die in that time. Or, you know, humans could evolve in time to include the genetic materials of bacteria living in the soil. Compared to us, they have a much tidier genome. They pack their genes close together and don't carry around the junk DNA that fills the gaps between genes. If we evolved to include them in our genetic makeup, it would help us break down the junk proteins that our cells accumulate over time that make us age. Until that time, all we can do is keep healthy, eat clean, exercise, and I guess hope for the best? Okay, I'm definitely hitting the gym tomorrow. Well, I will definitely try. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and share it with your friends. Check out more videos about future technology on our channel. Thanks for watching.